Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your mid-month July tarot reading. This is a reading for all Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to everybody for all the support. I appreciate you guys more than I can even say. And if you're new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't fit, just come back in a couple of days and watch a new reading. Fridays are always a general reading, so those will hit all areas of life. Mondays are a different style every week. Today's reading will be a detailed Celtic cross style reading, but then next week could be something entirely different. I'm not offering personal readings right now, but when I do, I will make an announcement on the channel with the information for those of you who are interested to access those. And if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Sagittarius? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Sagittarius need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Sagittarius? Messages for Sagittarius, please. All right. We will start here with the tarot, and then we'll have a couple of oracle cards to finish things out. All right, current situation. Dear Lord, we've got judgment. Immediate influence is the lovers. In your subconscious, the page of pentacles, the distant past, the nine of cups, the more recent past, the knight of swords, the uh, coming towards you in the... Um, Coming up towards you here in the oncoming energy is the Six of Pentacles. You're represented by the Two of Wands. The person or situation that you are attracting is the Four of Swords. You've got the Nine of Pentacles in your hopes and fears. King of Wands in the outcome. Now, I like that, especially because it's you and your own energy. That's solid. Now, the bottom of the deck, this is getting interesting. You notice anything? Okay, we've got the, the two infinity symbols there. That's also, too, for some of you, the number eight may be relevant, 888, if you're seeing that a lot. But there's only four cards in the deck that feature that, but only those two wear it as a crown. So I do feel like things are moving forward for you. And especially, too, if you've kind of let go of an idea, you've let go of a situation that you just couldn't control and it just wasn't serving you. And you said, this is driving me freaking nuts. I mean, even if it's like, uh, you know, you had a black car and it was getting all kinds of dings and chips and scratches and you went, oh my God, I've never owned a black car. This is miserable. You know, that sort of thing where you say, you know, I'm just going to, I'd rather be happy than be right. Now, I know that's a very mundane example, but I do get that for somebody because I kept seeing this car that was all scratched up. Um, but if it's something bigger than that, because you've got a beautiful love story coming in here. And if you've been... If you've been estranged from somebody, you haven't been talking to somebody, there's going to be communication here. So I do feel like, we'll get back to this in just a minute, but I do feel like this really draws me in, this current situation with the magician here. There's something important here where I feel like there is going to be conversation, there is going to be communication, and there's wonderful healing energy here. So those of you that are asking about reconciliation, I feel like they're telling you, you just go along and have joy in the journey and this will happen. But if we try to force and coerce it, it never works out that way. And if there's, you have no talking going on. So if it's kind of one-sided texting and things like that, I feel like they're telling you not to do that either. Now, others of you too, if it's more about you're just looking for somebody new, I do feel like there may be, if there's unfinished emotional business there may be a final closure to that, and it may be more one-sided, like you just being able to finally let go of it. And forgiveness doesn't mean that we keep that person in our lives or that we open ourselves up for more of their conduct. It may mean that you, when you see them, you just feel indifference. When you go through your things and you, you, know, you come across something of theirs, you don't try to come up with an idea of how to return it. You just say, I'll just get rid of that now. I don't, we don't, I'm not, I don't want contact with them. It's not important. It was trivial. It's an old scarf or something. You know, that kind of stuff where you say, this is no more, it's not important. This is not a connection anymore. And when you do that, for somebody here, you're going to bring in the love of your life right here. You have two archangels here. So we got, I went off on that a little too much because we weren't quite done with this. So anyway, back to these guys. Um, I do want to say though, too. If it's something in terms of jobs, this is great because the Ace of Swords is laser focused. 
And these are cards of success. They're the, the swords, when the cards were made, were nobility. So swords are wealthy energies. I know we oftentimes assign that to pentacles, but you've got great aspects for money. And especially, too, with the king of wands and the outcome and the magician, anybody who does any kind of teaching, leadership, anything where you're in front of a lot of people, even if you're some kind of like a health coach and you're leading classes, you're on a microphone, you're leading boxing classes or something like that, People are going to be lining up for you, okay? This is the kind of charisma. This is dynamic energy. And for some of you, it might be a little bit nerve-wracking. I'm going to say that, okay? But be okay with it because I do feel like with the energy of strength, those initial butterflies will pass. So if you are doing something where you are even an instructor in terms of you're out and maybe leading a group of people, teaching them how to play pickleball, and you're not a formal instructor, but you're just giving them guidance. There's something about this where I feel like your presence has a real influence over other people. And I feel like they just absolutely adore you. And this is great energy. Now, I didn't get into this already, but we've got Leo here. We have a Gemini here. We've got fire. Uh, we have all the elements, all right? So uh, with this, so get back to these two. My gosh, this is such a fabulous energy in terms of if you're waiting on a decision, the lovers also represents a choice, but it's a very positive energy. It's telling you that you're making the right decision, that it is a choice that is a match and it's going to be a match that's flourishing. The lovers brings in more, okay? It's a card of a fulfillment of beautiful energy. And in a relationship, it is the right relationship inside and out. So if you're in a breakup and you can't say that, you can't look at that relationship and say, no, I know this is the right relationship inside and out. If you're going, no, I know it was deeply flawed, but I think we can work through it. I feel like you might have somebody better waiting in the wings. I just feel like they're saying, look, you can have do or be anything. You can have, there's 8 billion people here. You can have the most spectacular relationship, but you got to get yourself out there. We can't keep putting in an uh, energy into something that isn't anymore. So with this too, those of you who are, are looking to move forward, you may be attracting a king of wands as well. And I do get that Leo energy, somebody who's charismatic and they're fun to be around and they'll be a fun companion for you. But there's deep love here. So with the energy too of judgment, I, I do like that a lot in terms of the healing aspects that it brings in. Because that's where you kind of, like I said, you get back to the place where it's forgiveness, but it's really indifference. You're released from anything that was keeping you stuck. You've got great freedom here and expansion. Judgment is self-mastery. And so when you have this, it's more than just, you know, this pretty angel. It really is being in a place in your life, a place of maturity, a place of growth, and a place where you won't turn back and go back into things that just don't serve you. So with the page of pentacles here in your subconscious energy, this page is eager to get out there and learn new things. He's very much hands-on. You've got a lot of the cards here have yellow in the backgrounds. You have the two nines, the nine of pentacles and nine of cups as well. So that yellow in the background is, indicates a wonderful environment, an, an environment where gifts will come into you. So if it is a new job that you're taking on here, with this, it's going to feel like it's got more to offer to you than you realized it could. It brings in a lot of what I feel is emotional satisfaction. So yeah, it brings in money. Of course, we need that. We want that. Um, but it brings in too, I feel like some sense of autonomy and freedom. So you may have a pretty loose structure in terms of like time off and things like that. But I do feel like too, this is not quietly quitting. Okay. This is all in on a job. So I do feel like if you're currently in the go, no, I'm the one that's quietly quitting. Yep. I gave up on this place three years ago. Um, I do feel like you're going to have a new opportunity and it brings your career back. It brings a, like this recharge into your life. So with the nine of cups, I mean, we like these, we've got the luxury card here with that wonderful lottery ticket, but with the nine of cups, it's pride, it's fulfillment, and it is a card of success. And so I do feel like with this one, it's in the past, but the past energy, truthfully, is the energy that you're on the receiving end of now. So for some of you, you may be finding you're getting that wish fulfillment right now, and it's bringing in this, it's bringing in offers, it's bringing in money. Um, he's an innkeeper though. So with this, it is a card of money, yes, 
but it's also a card of hospitality, of getting and receiving. And you have it there too with that Six of Pentacles, this energy of um, re reciprocal type of energy. So reciprocity, I think, is the word I was searching for. So with the Knight of Swords here, and this is communication coming in. It's honesty and the truth. And I do get it with this this uh, Ace of Swords. It's something that's going to allow you to move forward. So if you have been stuck on an old idea that just hasn't taken off, I feel like you are going to move forward. And when I say old idea, it feels connected to a relationship. So you may get told some information. And it may even be that the ex is struggling a bit. And I just feel it's like, you know what, I'm not here to to drive somebody to their PO appointment or to help them pay for their breathalyzer. I'm just not here for that. Okay. So, and maybe you're saying that's a little extreme. I'm not, they weren't quite on that level, but I do feel like with this, you're going to move forward and you are going to get some information that may actually, those of you that it's really, truly not a relationship that should be reconciled, you'll move forward in a way that's a lot more harmonious. This is a wonderful give and take. And so with this Six of Pentacles here, I do feel like it brings in a lot of balance. So if you've been kind of in a rut with your career, you've been in a place where you said, I just don't want to go in there anymore, I feel like there is going to be a shift. And this also, too, brings back some dedication. So if you change to a new job, I do feel like it reinvigorates your career. But others of you, it could be some kind of shift within the workplace that's going to help with that. So especially, too, if you've had a micromanager around you, they may be on their way out with that Six of Pentacles and somebody who is a little more easygoing. So with the Two of Wands, this represents you. You're ready. You're the card of the visionary. So use your mind to create your own reality. You have it here too. We see the garden of the magician. Those are the creations of your mind. You have it here as well. So when this, the Tinker... The Tinker, okay, how about the Tarot offers wonderful synchronicities. So when you start to see those things starting to show up, they are trying to tell you that you're manifesting, but the, the source of it is you. And so it's this is a card too, though, of taking action. It's not just the thinking, it's not just the meditating, and not just the visualizing. It's also getting yourself out there, making some moves. And with the Four of Swords, this is the person or situation that you're attracting, for some of you, again, with that micromanagement manage, type of energy around you, it may go dormant here. There may be something about that where I feel like it's removed from you. So the person may move on to something else. Or again, for some of you, it may actually be you who moves on. But either way with this one, it is a card of taking a break, of relaxing, of getting yourself back to center. So I do feel like for somebody that paid time off thing, where you have some flexibility, that may actually be what this is talking about as well. So with the Nine of Pentacles here, you're bringing in money. She stands in a beautiful garden. And this is, there's no lack here. So you also too, for some of you, you're going to have nice social aspects. I get kind of a page of wands energy around you. Somebody who invites you out to things. Hey, we're going to go to this you know, uh, concert on the lawn. Do you want to come? Those sorts of things. But again, they keep saying, get yourself out there. So I do feel like with this, you're not going to have a shortage of invitations. And so, of course, we said in the in the outcome here, we've got this king of wands. You're going to be on top of your game. This is an energy too, where you may find that you have a lot of energy where you find that you're, you sleep and you're well rested and you wake up and you're ready to seize the day. Now, I mentioned before that in a relationship, you may be attracting a king of wands. This is not somebody who would expect you to be their parent. Okay, the king of wands is a very confident energy. So I do feel like you have somebody here who comes in and they are a match for you. They are somebody who can match your confidence, match your success. And truly be a partnership. But in terms of chemistry, the chemistry is on fire here with this Knight of Wands. And so, like I said earlier in the reading, you're going to have people who are quite attracted to you in a number of different ways. I feel like it's overall, it's a an indication that they're attracted to your energy. So let's see here what the Fortune Oracle wants to tell you, Sagittarius. What else does Sagittarius need to know please what messages do you have for Sagittarius please about money all right you have pay attention to your intuition at this time 
and move ahead confidently. So you definitely have an energy of confidence. And you do have two with the lovers and the magician, uh, an emphasis on dream interpretation. So pay attention to what your subconscious might be trying to tell you. Reach out for the power and strength to make changes. Enrich your life and become the person you want to be. This one's transformation. So especially too, the magician is the ultimate transformer. I feel like these two together, you got like double magician energy going on here. Let's see now what the whispers of love want to tell you about love, Sagittarius. What else does Sagittarius need to know about love, please? Advice for Sagittarius about love. <clears throat> You have embraced your emotions, allow your feelings to surface and be accepted. So again, I got this sort of feeling of like, should I stay or should I go? And I do feel like they're trying to tell you to get in touch with that. That way you can, you can have the decision be something that's not going to wobble around on you. Rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental need to take a break. And you have that. You had it in here too. This is like your four of swords. So good things are on the way for you, Sagittarius. I love you and I'll be back again soon.